In this screencast I'll show you how to start the Simulink simulation environment and set the working directory. So once you've started MATLAB you can set the directory where all the files will be saved for your Simulink simulations by using this bar here and if you click you can select a folder and that's where your simulation files will be saved and any other associated files that get generated they'll be saved in that location too. So it's important to set that correctly at the beginning uh, especially when you're going back to open things so that MATLAB and Simulink can find all the files that it needs to run your simulations. Now to start the Simulink simulation environment click on the button up here and this will bring up a, a window with different options that you can click on for the sake of this window, for this video, we're just going to click on blank model. That will then bring up a simulation environment that we can use to build our simulation. And we do that by putting together different functions and connecting those up and programming those. So to bring up a list of different functions that we can use, we click on this button here. And this will bring up the Simulink library browser. And we have these different functions all sorts of, of different options that we can use and these are built up of, of blocks of code in MATLAB um, but the Simulink environment just means that we can build these together much more easily than having to write line by line code to, to create our simulation. Overall that is how we can set the working directory for Simulink and start the Simulink environment.